Hey everybody, welcome to How to Livable. This is my channel where I, along with Michael Lukey's, help business professionals and business owners create content for themselves and for their businesses. Today we're talking about how to write a LinkedIn headline, so let's get started. Okay, so what do you need for a good LinkedIn headline? Uh, a couple of things. Let's take a look at them. Number one, you need to be clear. Number two, you need to deliver value. And number three, you need to be memorable. If you can accomplish these three things in a LinkedIn headline, then I would consider it a great LinkedIn, LinkedIn headline. So let's take a look at a few. So I just went through my LinkedIn feed and took a look at some people who popped up, both showing good and bad examples of this. The first one that came up was Skylar Todd. Her LinkedIn headline says, we are helping more consumers buy a home, thereby investing in our lender dot dot dot. Why is this good? Is it clear? Somewhat. Does it provide value? Somewhat. Is it memorable? I would argue it's not super memorable. The reason why it could be clearer is because it's written in a way that we write, not in a way that we speak. Um, a way that we would just say this if we were talking to someone would be, we're helping more consumers buy a home and investing in our lender dot dot dot. Uh, I wouldn't say thereby usually in a sentence and I wouldn't say we are helping. I would kind of put those two words together. That would make it more clear as, as just a start. You also have that dot, dot, dot at the end, which personally I don't love. I think people sometimes do this because they feel like it intrigues the reader to want to learn more. Um, I think people are going to be intrigued more by your content than necessarily by your headline. Your, the headline's gonna further inform them on who you are after you have a piece of content out there that grabs their attention. Uh, and then if they're interested at that point, they're gonna come check out your profile. So I don't know if you need the dot, dot, dot. Personally, I find it a little bit confusing because I wanna know everything you have to tell me in this space. And then if I wanna learn more, I'm gonna go to your profile. So I would try and fit it all in the headline if you can. Um, does it provide value? Yes, I do get a sense of uh, her role in the mortgage world. And on the third point, is it memorable? I would argue no. There's a lot of mortgage professionals out there there's a lot of people in that industry, and to, to be memorable, um, you do need to um, stand out a little bit more. It doesn't have to be outrageous, but you do need to stand out a little bit more. So I would think of something that's more unique to you uh, that you might want to highlight as well. And we're going to see that in a couple other examples. So let's take a look at the next example. Robert Quick Bostick. Um, start using humor to win over your audience, close more deals, and per dot, dot, dot. Again, we have the dot, dot, dot. So is it clear? Yes. He's talking about using humor as a sales technique. Um, does it provide value? Yes, because uh, it's very clear to me um, what he's going to do to work with me. And I can decide very quickly if I want to work with him, if I want to bring humor into my sales process. Is it memorable? Um, it's pretty memorable. Um, so because mostly because though there's not a ton of people who are out there um, using humor as a sales technique and coaching in that way. The one thing that I would uh, say is a missed opportunity here is he's talking about using humor to win over your audience and close more deals this could be an opportunity to think of something witty or funny to say right in that headline. So obviously I can't think of something as an example right here, but I'm sure he can because this is his job is thinking of funny ideas. Uh, so I would encourage business people whenever you can to show us what you do rather than telling us what you do. And if you can get me to laugh just from your headline, as well as get your point across as to what you do, that would be extremely memorable. So that would be my uh, advice to him. Let's take a look at another example here. Marcus H. Chan, I happen to know Marcus on LinkedIn. He is a great guy. Let's go back here. Um, sales coach, helping AEs and B2B sales pros earn 50 to 100K more this dot, dot, dot. 
Again, he has the this dot, dot, dot. It's fine. Uh, again, I probably wouldn't include it, but it doesn't hurt him because he has the other boxes checked pretty well here, I think. So is it clear? Yes, he's a sales coach. He has that well-defined with that little slash in there. Does it provide value? Yes, it does. Um, mainly because he's showing the exact value he provides in the monetary sense. Most people aren't going that far and saying this is the exact amount of money I'm going to save you or earn you or help you build in your business. So there's the value right there. Is it memorable? I think so. Because again, a lot of people don't have those kinds of figures right in their headline. So I would say the only thing that Personally, I would change would be the dot, dot, dot at the end. I don't think you need it, and I think it can confuse your audience uh, as well as intrigue them. So you're kind of doing both. I think overall, I would give this an A-. minus. Okay, Ashley Gravano, coffee connoisseur with the coffee cup icon, VP product solutions. Uh, I have also talked to Ashley before, which is probably why she showed up in my feed. Um, I like this a lot because is it clear? Yes, she's the VP product of solutions who loves coffee. Does it provide value? I would argue yes, it does because uh, it's entertaining and it gives me a touch point as a coffee drinker so that when I do talk to her, I know we can kind of open and we're going to have something in common. Even if I'm not a coffee lover, uh, I can talk about how much I don't like coffee and she can tell me why she does. Uh, and is it memorable? Yes, it's very clear and concise. Uh, which is a piece of being memorable. Like you have to be uh, short and sweet and make an impression and then leave us uh, to remember you rather than give us so much information that it confuses us. Um, so I would say this checks all three pretty darn well. As the VP of Product Solutions, she has a fairly complicated role. She's not trying to sell me on anything. So really all she's trying to do is stay memorable. And you'll see this in the next example as well that it's okay to have something in your headline that is not business related, that is just what you personally care about. So this is Leo Dupril. I don't actually know Leo. He's an insurance guru slash community minded slash hashtag go Browns. So clearly he's a sports fan. So even if I'm not from Cleveland, uh, he's a football fan, I can find a way to uh, connect with him on that if I end up talking to him. I'm from Chicago, so obviously I'm a bit of a Bears fan. Um, so that gives me a touch point. Um, there's three things clearly defined here. Two of them are not business related. He's community minded. Again, that's probably gonna be somebody that I'm going to associate more with than somebody who is not community minded. I like people who care about their communities. This recipe, is one that I would recommend people think about as they rewrite their headlines. And this is also a recipe you can think about for your content. Because he's an insurance guru, he works in insurance, it's not the most exciting field. So if he puts out every single post uh, about insurance, people are probably going to tune out. When you have an industry that is not super interesting or dynamic, you probably want to think about other kinds of topics that you want to talk about that you're passionate about to bring in a wider audience. And then when you make your insurance related posts, you've built their interest with the other topics so that they're going to want to build that trust with you around your knowledge of insurance. So those are the three things that I would recommend you think about as you rewrite your LinkedIn headlines. I really like the recipe of the three different topics as an easy way um, to be clear, concise, deliver value, as well as be memorable. So those would be the things that I would think about. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe. We also have another video called how to improve your LinkedIn profile in one minute, which you might wanna check out, as well as how to add featured content to your profile. Uh, we create content for business owners as a done-for-you service as well. Uh, Michael Lukies is a content writer, and I own Cleaver Creative, which is a video production company. And together, we create content for businesses. Uh, packages start at $1,500. If that is interesting to you, please email us at info at cleavercreates.com, and we'll have somebody get in touch with you uh, to talk about what you need. Thanks so much for watching, and we will be back next week.